Head walk. Oh, Lord, you're not three sheets out blowing in the wind again, are you? Don't tell me. Not, not quite, no. My old friend Yvonne was confused about the component nuances of oh. this particular cognac sure. and sought to test my acumen that I might report back to oh, her God. on my perception. Well, listen, if you can, now, I know you get involved in some woo-woo mystical nonsense. I need for you to tell me if you think Georgia's actually talking her book or if she's completely off the deep end so I know who to call. Mm. So, she writes to me, OMG Surrender, you're amazing. I'm amazing. We're all amazing. She got part of that right. What's really coming up for me in this moment is that you are actively healing your yes in the spring quadrant. Hmm. Now, now all this in response to me telling her she's probably taking in too much fiber. Hmm. Something coming up for you? Well, does, does Georgia have a religious affiliation? Uh, she's pretty opportunistic. I doubt she would turn one down. Well, I'm not a fan of modern bastardizations of ancient mythologies, but perhaps she's adapting some Native American folklore. Or at least smoking the peyote pipe. <laughs> well, I am done. I am done. I am done with this craziness. I've got an empire to run. <laughs> Lord, speaking of which, your keyboard is ready for you to tickle it with your claw. Well, I assure you, I have never been more cognizant. Uh, well, you might consider taking in less fiber, too, then. <laughs> All right, Catwoman, let's give it a shake. Uh, come on, come uh, on. It's the Dragon Sail Puppets Variety Show. Starring Sorinda, Bruce, Catatonia. And on read, featuring the Dragon Cell Puppets Band. Anchors away. Strange and stealing up all the 
rage bear The world's a hot heart Yeah, the crew was well to hot heart Lyrically taken By the hot heart Lyrically shaken By the hot heart Yeah, the crew went hot heart By the hot heart Hot heart Using and stewing In the hot heart Bubbling and brewing In the hot heart Keep under cover Of the hot heart You must have stew it in the hot pot That is true in the hot pot But by a pen in the hot pot The way you can it Oh, the heat The swelling world of me Had the salt Had the lime Swell it to paper Until the next time Now, aren't you glad that somewhere, 18 billion ass years ago, some star far out in space farted so badly it exploded into a million pieces and now here we are all together, <laughs> admiring surrender. <laughs> oh, now I had to braid some of this hairdo to keep it from flying away. So before anybody accuses me of appropriating Native American culture, I assure you I am one sixteenth Cherokee and only one sixteenth of my head is braided so the math works out. Lord hustle. <laughs> People, I am getting more and more concerned about that Georgia hot flash and mercy. <laughs> Now I know a lot of people just use words to rub their feelings all over each other. But that hussy has me feeling like a piece of grimy shaking baked poultry. <laughs> oh, in short, now that she's done with that sugar, that benefactor of hers, <laughs> Georgia's loading us all up with affirmations because she's trying to clean up her karma because now she's decided to go try her luck in Hollywood. <laughs> Lord. So if y'all see a news item of a hussy slipping down Universal City's hills, you'll know who they're talking about. <laughs> oh, she's asking us all to wad up all of our positive energy in a big ball and blow it her way. <laughs> so she can fulfill her destiny to play the part of an aging streetwalker on a cutting room floor. Oh, I'm tired of it all, y'all. I'm tired. Of the inflated hopes, the dashed dreams, the juicy love bomb she keeps hurling at us. <laughs> Lord, it's like watching a snail lose its way down a moonlit wall. <laughs> Y'all like that? I think it's pretty. It sounds good to me. I swear, I keep Georgia in my life just for the material and inspiration. <laughs> but I'm bracing myself for it. <laughs> this is what'll happen. Y'all mark it. After a week or two of endless floodings of her drama and floggings of compassion for all of us, she will be back home, a spent wreck. And we'll all have to lift her spirits, pump her up bigger than her butt pads, and remind her that no matter what, she's a precious jewel in the crown of life, etc., etc. Oh, actually, I think she's a muffin crumb that's fallen through the slats. <laughs> but I ain't gonna tell her that. <laughs> well, now, I better go check on shenanigans backstage, right? <laughs> Make sure that storm cloud isn't sneaking erotic videos onto the onboard projectors to freak out the born agains. <laughs> it's not encouraged by studio policy. <laughs> so I see y'all on the other side. <laughs> oh, the wigs, the antiques from China the dehumidifiers behind the gold lame throw pillows, and the fashions. Oh, how would a bargain basement hussy ever be able to throw a check mix tea party in her double wide in style without supplies from her local pinch my penny? 
tell us what the Pinch by Penny has done for you. They have tweezers that you can use as roach clips. Oh, I see you're beginning to sound like a one-note serenade. Do you ever wear clothes or cook a meal? I got a pod holder here once. Oh, that's good. See, a pod holder. That, see, that's good. Oh, I think that pleases me a little too much. Their video selection sucks, though. I'll tell you where I get mine. Okay, moving on. So, Catwoman, me. what has the Pinch My Penny meant to you? Meant to me? Uh, I.e., what meaning has it conferred upon my life? Oh, God. <laughs> As I watch these monolithic chains devour wholesale all the quaint family shops in my district, oh, here we go. I'll, I'll tell you what I have gleaned from the pinch my penny. First, that society is about sheep, and the wolf does indeed rule. Secondly, that sanity has been selected against and largely purged from the gene pool. I know you like their crab cakes. Well, they're profoundly salty. <laughs> Besides chocolate bunny ears, huh? What do you like about the pinch my penny? I, I got my bow tie here. You did? And everyone is very nice. They are? And after you wash their clothes a couple of times, you don't smell the mothballs so much. Make it fast. I like the stuffed bunny. That's a wrap. <laughs> Why, you mustn't concern yourself with your long wait, Serena. Uh, for the gods may work their will with us in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. But out of our deserts, they will dance with joy. Well, good. I'm glad they're having a good time. And this joy will be terrible to know. Uh, speaking of waiting, where the hell... No, I told myself I wasn't going to get mad at him today. <laughs> Chi Chi got the broom after me. <laughs> so glad you could join us to fulfill your contractual obligations, dog. And now, 
we'd like to say uh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> so as part of a goodwill initiative, I invite you to feel free to have the happiest, most productive pup corner ever. And Catwoman, let's lead them to it. May have the pitone in your best All right, go on. <laughs> Yay! Hardy party! Just go love for me! <laughs> hey, you need something! <laughs> now you're fancy. You'll get some leg tonight for sure. What does that mean? I don't know. I heard Storm Cloud say it. People sure say some strange things. Yeah. Like when that guy asked Chi Chi if he could get fries with that chain. What'd she say? She said no. <laughs> it's my birthday and I wanted fries. <laughs> well, maybe she's restocked by now. Oh, good. Yeah, I can't wait for my birthday party dealies. Serena said we had to wait until the end of the show. She was quite clear on that. I hope everybody at the party jumps up and down and says, Yay, Bruce! Yay, Bruce! And there's no pregnancies and I get lots of gifts. Can I try something different in a hat? Well, let me see what I got. Woohoo! Mango margarita! Hee <laughs> hee! So, has turning a year older made you reflect? Yeah! No. Did you get any cards? Yeah, I got this one from Catatonia. <laughs> you read it, it makes no sense to me. Dear Bruce, still so young and full of adrenaline and other substances. What I see in you is obsessive derangement or a biological design for the aggressive expansion of a social order. Happy birthday. Uh, hey. Oh. Hey, let's go get chocolate bunny ears. Yeah, and look at my decoration so pretty. <laughs> Are you ready for my party? Yeah. But I don't want somebody's old leg. Yeah.
My esteemed hussies, you know a gift from the gods needs to every so often go home and stick her feet on the vibrating pad, so it looks like I must bid adieu. <laughs> We'd like to thank Thomas Ledon for once again gracing our show. You like that French thing? <laughs> and for now, I want you to be careful around any flunkies from Hollywood sending you light or oozing all over your chakras because that don't ever get you anything you need, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to live in life or suck it up, buses! <laughs> Surrender's gowns, courtesy of the Finch My Penny Markdown Rack. Wardrobe consultation by Chi Chi's Productions. Personal assistant to Surrender, also that drag queen from Guatemala. Special promotional consideration by Georgia Hot Flash. Surrender's fragrance, Honeysuckle Passion, makes you scintillating and covers up mothball stink when added to a cold rinse. Oh, 